Uh, hey guys, it's Ramsey here, and welcome to another video. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to fix yet another annoying error that occurs on newly fresh Windows. Um, usually occurs when you try to install like the latest version of a program, such as Discord right here, or uh, Flash Player, or any program that uh, that is sort of updated or whatever. All right, now. Maybe because you uh, installed like uh, an old version of Windows 7, and uh, perhaps that it needs update or whatever, or it could be any reason, right? It doesn't matter how it occurs, but what really matters is how to fix that. So the error looks something like this: the procedure entry point could not be located in the dynamic link library kernel 32 or I don't know, K-E-R-N-E-L 32.dll. Now, uh, what I did first was go and locate this file in System32, make sure that it's there. Because my basic instincts told me that if the file does not exist, then there's probably, um, yes, a high chance that any program I tried to install wouldn't install successfully, wouldn't be installed successfully. So, um, yeah, I went there and it's there. So what could be the problem. So I found that um, this problem only occurs when you're trying to install the latest version of any program. So I tried to install like uh, old versions of uh, many programs and it did work uh, no problem but uh, latest version programs wouldn't work. So what I did was enable Windows Update and I found that um, this is the one responsible for the uh, entry point error. So we go to Google and we type this update for Windows 7. Okay, uh, so I don't mind that. Here we go. So you want to go here and uh, you want to download. You want to download this update. And uh, I don't have to download it because I already have it here, but uh, you want to download this. Uh, you also want to make sure that you download the right version. So if you're using uh, System 64 bit, then I suggest that you add to Google uh, something like uh, for Windows 7 64. Yeah, like that. If you want to download it yourself, however, you can just check the description down below. I will leave a link there for uh, both systems, the 64 and the 32 one. Uh, you basically download this update and uh, you apply it. Once you install the update, uh, it's going to ask you to reboot so you can apply those updates. And therefore, you're going to have to reboot after you install the update. After that, um, you're going to wait for a while for uh, the updates to be applied and there you go. Uh, you, sh you should fix your, all your problems, all your entry point problems that is that I know of. So uh, that's the solution I have for you on this problem. Uh, I, hope, I hope I can uh, be of help here and uh, if it did help you then please leave a like. It really helps me a lot and uh, subscribe to my channel for more and if you want to contact me then make sure well the, to check the description down below uh, there are information down there on how to contact me if you have any questions or any suggestions on errors that you're facing um, again if you're having problems uh, fixing this then just leave a comment down below and I will get to you when I can and I really do reply so don't hesitate to uh, comment down there thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video